the teeth for those who favour a winter shutdown. At kick-off time, Brockville was bathed in sunshine. The playing surface is near to perfect as a Scottish February will allow. Celtic's starting 11 was unchanged from the side which hammered St Johnston in midweek, but Falkirk brought back Kevin Drinkle in place of Alex Taylor. A capacity 13,120 inside Brockville and the Falkirk contingent among them, confident that the Celtic goals deluge against them was about to dry up. But it was Celtic who threatened to keep on raining goals. Within just three minutes of the kick-off, Tommy Boyd pumped the long free kick forward and invited the Falkirk defence and his own attack to indulge in a little head tennis. It fell for Vata and Parch couldn't hold the shot, but McAvenny will consider that he blew the chance when the loose ball fell to him. Celtic were enjoying the lion's share of the pressure, but couldn't translate that into goals. More than that, the Falkirk back four, David Weir in particular, were in superb form. Coming up, the head-on by Vata, superb work to the line by Tommy Coyne. The clever dummy by McAvenny, but again, no one available to apply the finishing touch. The pressure returned in wave after wave, but that Brockville defence stood firm. By now the tide was turning and Falkirk were beginning to emerge from the shadows. A superb strike by Eddie May and Paul McStay materialising to head off the line. It was to be the thin end of the wedge as Falkirk started their drive towards the Celtic goal. The next chance was to fall for little Kevin McAllister. You felt a goal might be in the air and on the very threshold of half time it was conjured. Ian McCall's corner, chaos in the six-yard box, but the evidence of our slow-motion replay shows that Big Neil Duffy might have video evidence in claiming the goal. Into the second half and Falkirk, now wind-assisted, began to turn the screw. Acrobatic stuff all round, but Drinkle's volley blocked by Galloway and Celtic breathe again. McAllister, though, was by now beginning to torment them. Good handling by Packy Bonner, and at the other end, the acrobatics continued as Celtic mounted their salvage attempt. Paul McStay magic at the edge of the box. No pass march for the shot, though. Celtic kept battling and wanted a penalty when Tommy Coyne ended horizontal in the box. But referee Les Mottram wouldn't even entertain the claim. And with seven minutes left, it was all over. The long free kick was delivered to the danger area and Eddie May ghosted in from the left to leave Celtic season trophyless. Wide open spaces for May to capitalise. It's ex certificate viewing for Celtic, but at Brockville, Falkirk manager Jim Jeffries has another word for it all. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and uh, they worked really hard and closed down very well, worked hard for each other. Back four's been taking a bit of stick because of their goals record, but. Today they were magnificent and uh, it's something they had to build on, you know, if you can defend like that. And as a team, not just their back four, but as a team, uh, then obviously we're, we're going to win a lot more games. 